Hi everyone, welcome to this chapter. In this chapter, we are going to write our service helper class and test class as well. So let's get started. Before moving forward, I'm going to take you through few of the changes that I have done. So if you remember from the previous tutorials, here we have given as the get resource stream, we have given the path of our config.properties, which basically contains our um, base URL value, base URL key and its value. Now, uh, what change I have done inside my form.xml, uh, if I uh, go here, so inside this build tag, I have given a one more tag, uh, resources, and inside resources, I have given the uh, one resource and directory as uh, slash API test, which is my parent directory and inside resource. So when this method will be called uh, this one, which is inside our config manager, get resource as thing. So, this will basically connect with the resource. So if we will not give this tag value here, it will not able to find it. So that's why I have given it. So you can see that slash API test slash resource and inside resource, we have our computer properties. One change is this one. The another change which I have done into my pom.xml is this one where I have uh, change the version of testng uh, dependencies. So I have made it 7.3.0. Reason here is that because I am using Java 1.8, and earlier we have uh, taken the testng version at 7.6.0. So um, that 7.6.0 version is not compatible with the Java 1.8. So that's why uh, I have changed it to 7.3.0, which is compatible with our Java 1.8. So another change that I have done is I have defined one more tag here, properties tag. And inside properties, I have defined few of the build related properties like Java version, my own compiler source version, and my own compiler target version. So these are required because sometimes actually what happens is that uh, some Java class file is compiled with higher version of a particular library. And when we execute it, it may face difficulty because of the version difference. So I have clearly mentioned that what compiler version my Maven should use and what Java version should be used. So these are the few changes that I have done. And now let us we move on to the our helper class. I have created one more blank class here, user service helper. Now we will start writing the code here. So basically, this user service helper is the basically our helper helper class for our uh, test case. It will contain all of the business logic. So what we are going to do here, uh, so let's start writing the code so for here um, what we need to do is we need to create a constructor and we are what we are going to do is we are going to get the base url that which are we are going to consume into our um, basically into our test case so let's get started so for that uh, what i am going to do is i am going to make private static final string static final string and my base url which i am going to read from my config manager dot cat instance dot cat string and here i am going to pass my base underscore url which is my uh, i am passing this one so this this i am passing this key base url so for that one i need to uh, I need to pass my this key here, which I have passed here. So now what it will do, it will basically go and read the uh, config.properties and will give the value into my base URL. Now after this, what we need to do is we need to create a constructor. So what we will do inside our constructor is, so our constructor is going to be public. And if you are, I hope you are aware, our constructor name is always the same name of the class name. So inside this constructor, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, use initialize our base URI. So for that, what we are going to do is rest assured dot base URI is equal to 
my base url so here what i have done is whatever base url i have got from here i have assigned into this variable the rest is sold to this uri now after this the next thing what we need to do is what we can do is uh, we can use this one um, rest assured dot there is one method use relaxed http validation so it is not mandatory it is kind of optional thing so we can uh, make our choice accordingly so now next thing what we are going to do is now after this we need to create a method uh, which we are going to because we are going to use we are going to test this uh, API where we are getting a particular user. So I am going to define, uh, I am going to um, basically create my uh, get user method here, which will give me uh, a user. And so here we are going to define our get user and it will return me a user type of uh, object. So user is my uh, this one, this model class. So if you see here, which we defined in our previous tutorial. So what we are going to do is we are going to uh, make a, a request to our URL and we'll get the response. And this response will return as an object of user type. So which is this one. So this is basically, this is basically give me a, a user object. So the same we are going to mock here. So for that purpose, what we need to do is we need to uh, do we need to use the rest assured uh, library so for that what we are going to use rest assured dot then we have given we need to use given then uh, the next thing we can use this is also optional log dot all this what this will do this will help us to log all of the uh, calls so it may be helpful while uh, tracing our logs so the next thing what we can do is we can we need to give the content type and here inside this we can do the uh, we are making sure that our content type is json make a cold get and inside that get we can pass the endpoints uh, dot get user so what we are doing we are saying that endpoints dot get user endpoints dot get user so here we are saying that uh, now this is equal to get making a get request code and then what the next thing what we can do is after this the next thing we can do is we can do and return so what this whole thing uh, this sequence of calls what it is going to do it is going to return me a response object so you can see here response from uh, io dot assured dot response so what i am going to do is response is equal to response dot rest assured now once we have done this now uh, i it is giving me the response type of object the next thing what we need to do is we need to kind of uh, parse or convert this response type into user type so how we what how we can do this is using we have this uh, one one more this type new type reference and we can pass the uh, object here like what type of uh, um, object we want to receive we have passed a user type and then get type it will give me the type object basically and once we receive this type object the next thing what we can do is we we can convert our response into user type object so response dot as and then type and then i am getting my user object once i get the response user object the the next thing what we can do is we just return it and we want to make sure that now this is very simple and uh, simple thing here what we are doing is we are making a call to get call to this endpoint which is basically this one api users less two and then we are returning the response and then uh, we are converting our response object into uh, user type and then we are just returning our user now this thing is done after this thing now it is time for us to um, use this basically business logic into our test class so now we can move on to our test i have created a blank test class here test get user because we in this api we are basically getting our user so what we can do here is for very first of all we are going to use our uh, use a user service helper so 
what we can do is we can create a private object of user service helper and the next thing what we can do is we uh, since this is a test class here we can do few of the things which are basically um, which are basically uh, can be done in in a before class tag so what we can do is uh, we can define a init method here before class and let's say i define public void init so uh, about these uh, annotations so basically before class is an annotation which is which will be called um, before executing this class so before the control will come to this class what we will uh, what it will do this it will identify that there is a before class annotation with this method so very first it will uh, execute it so it is a kind of uh, uh, pre work that we want to do before hitting the request so inside this init method we are going to that stuff so what we can do is we can basically initialize our user service or we can create an object of our user service helper so that's it uh, we want to do here in this part now inside before after before class is executed the next thing we want we want we, we can have our test annotation and inside our test annotation what we can do is we can uh, write our uh, basically this is going to be our test case now inside our test case what is our test case test case is about getting the user so what we are going to do we are going to use public void that user right and uh, basically or we can uh, make more uh, logical name public wide test get user so basically we are testing our get user now once we have done this now we can write our code here so what we need to do is we just need to uh, uh, what we need to just do here is now using our uh, basically user service helper object we can call our method get user now this method will return me a user type object so i have just received it into user type object the next thing what we can do is uh, just a basic check i can uh, check that my uh, user object is not null at this point of time so what we can do is i can uh, so here i can pass my user object and the next i can pass the message so if you will you can see that if you will uh, press control and then hover over it it will give you the syntax object and then string message that we you want to pass user object is null so what it will do it will uh, check that my user object is not null if it is not null it will not give any message if it is null then it will give this message so once this assertion will be filled this message will be printed so uh, now this is the very basic check and we can add definitely more assertion here and we can test whatever we want to then um, those things can be covered in later in state later in later stage so now this is this part is completed now we are ready to basically test our or uh, make a request to our or hit the request to our server and get the response and verify it so here i have executed it and now you can see that test passed one of one and here it is showing me that this has been passed and here you can see that uh, one run one passes and zero failure and here is the request method is get type request uri is this one request parameters are nothing and the, then you can see that this this is the request and it has checked that this is not null so uh, this first test case it is uh, good so that's all for this tutorial and see you in the next one